Do we all reside in a gigantic void? While this might sound contradictory given the vast diversity of the starry sky, it may actually solve one of the greatest enigmas in modern space research. The observed value of the Hubble constant doesn't align with our theoretical models, but this so-called Hubble tension could be explained by the possibility that Earth exists in a type of underdense bubble in space. Join us on this cosmic journey. James Webb Telescope, we live in a vast void. This could explain the Hubble tension. Although this groundbreaking idea helps resolve discrepancies in the measured values, it introduces a new research dilemma. Our understanding suggests that such voids in the cosmos shouldn't exist. The question of how quickly the universe is expanding may seem straightforward, but it is one of the most profound mysteries in contemporary research. It's long been a fundamental fact of astronomy that the universe has been expanding ever since its birth around 13.8 billion years ago. However, it's important to note that the universe isn't expanding into an existing space. Rather, space itself is expanding. As the universe expands, galaxies move away from each other at speeds proportional to their distance from one another. This means if galaxy A is twice as far from Earth as galaxy B, it moves away from us twice as fast. To determine how quickly two galaxies are receding, we not only need to know their distance, but also a factor to multiply by. This is where the Hubble constant comes into play. The Hubble constant is a parameter in Einstein's field equations. Despite its name, it isn't truly constant. It remains consistent in space, but changes over time. There are two primary methods for determining the Hubble constant, and by extension, the current rate of cosmic expansion. One method involves measuring the cosmic background radiation, microwave relic radiation from just after the Big Bang, which still permeates the universe today. When researchers measure this radiation and combine it with theoretical models, they arrive at an expansion rate of 67 km per second per megaparsec. However, actual measurements of the Hubble constant differ significantly, showing values as high as 73 km per second for per megaparsec, creating a discrepancy. A difference of 6 km may not seem like much at first, but it becomes striking when you consider that the expansion rate jumps from 244,000 km per hour to 264,000 km per hour per megaparsec. This means the universe is expanding 20,000 km per hour faster than predicted by the cosmological standard model. So, how is this possible? Could we have misunderstood the universe? One simple explanation could be measurement errors that have accumulated over time, creating what seems like a research puzzle. To test this, Adam Rees and his team used the James Webb Space Telescope to analyze over 320 Cepheids in various galaxies, many previously studied by the Hubble Space Telescope. Rees, who won the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics for discovering the universe's accelerated expansion, found that Webb's data supported the Hubble tension, showing a higher Hubble constant than predicted by theoretical models. Rees suggests we may have misunderstood something fundamental about the universe, perhaps an unknown force or particle unaccounted for in the standard cosmological model. This could be a new form of particle, a misinterpretation of gravity, or even an exotic type of dark matter or dark energy yet to be discovered. Neither dark matter nor dark energy has been directly detected. They remain hypothetical concepts designed to explain the behavior of visible matter and the universe's accelerating expansion. While Rees acknowledges the potential for gaps in our understanding, another team believes they've solved the riddle of the Hubble constant. Published in the Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, the study posits that we live in a massive cosmic void. This void doesn't mean a starless night sky, but suggests that Earth is in a region of space with less matter than average. The cosmic void is likened to an air bubble in a cake. Outside the bubble, the density of matter is higher, causing gravitational forces to pull galaxies toward the bubble's edges faster than expected. This could explain why the universe appears to expand faster near us, up to a distance of 3 billion light years compared to the entire cosmos. However, this explanation raises another issue. The standard cosmological model doesn't account for such underdense regions, as matter in the universe is expected to be evenly distributed. To reconcile this, we may need to rethink Einstein's theory of gravity. 
An alternative theory, proposed in 1983 by Israeli physicist Mordechai Milgram, is known as modified Newtonian dynamics, EMON. This theory alters the equations of motion to explain galaxy rotation without invoking dark matter. Though controversial, Mond accurately predicts the existence of cosmic voids, and if gravity behaves as Milgram suggests, the Hubble tension could be resolved. Still, some researchers, like Wendy Friedman, argue that the Hubble tension might not exist at all. Friedman suspects that dust, gas, and the effects of nearby stars could distort the brightness measurements of Cepheids, which are primarily located in dense galactic regions where starlight overlaps. Her team used the James Webb Telescope to analyze 10 nearby galaxies and compared Cepheid measurements with two other distance indicators, red giants and carbon-enriched stars. Their findings suggest that distances measured using these new methods align well, potentially revealing calibration errors in the cosmic distance ladder. In essence, the debate continues. Whether it's due to underdense bubbles, measurement errors, or something else entirely, the mystery of the Hubble constant remains unresolved. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.